Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Let's Play Metal Slug 3. In this episode we're going to ride camels, I think. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Camels are the shit. It is going to <laughs> be the shit. As always with my, my friend Dalton, say hello to everybody. Hi, hello! Let's resume! You can have the, the camel. He has a machine gun on his ass. Oh yeah! Gallop camel. Oh, my camel can duck! Cool! <laughs> Oh yeah. You zombies can't duck, but my camel can, bitch. Launcher. Oh, I got a cool ass fucking. I tried to let you have that, <laughs> since I got the camel. Oh, my camel. I stole it from you. Oh, that's the actual like gun. I can never. I thought it was a power up at first. Oh shit. Die, all ya. No, 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 no! Oh, oh god! Look at him dodging skills. Look at them dodging skills failing me. Yeah! Oh, that was a power up. Ah, oh, too late. Oh shit. Let's be Stoop. Mr. Sideburns. Oh, there's a fucking tank. <laughs> How am I still alive? I just dodge all that shit. <laughs> Let's knife some dudes. Yeah. Eat my knife. Oops. Gallop. I love that the camels makes footprints in the sand. Oh, I, oh, I just noticed that. That's really cool. No, no. I want the camel. Holy crap, this uh, level's insane. I was trying to jump on the camel, but there's bullets flying everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. I got one of the helicopters. I'm trying to shoot him, but he keeps flying all over the place. Yeah, these games are, are incredibly chaotic, even by arcade standards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can you imagine blowing all your money in this game? Can you imagine how many quarters this game would eat up? Well, I can't even imagine. Yeah, shitloads? Yeah, a tons of shits, shits loads. Yeah, shits loads. There you go. I got five thousand points. This can't be good. They're running away from something. Oh, I remember this now. They're running away from something that we're gonna kill the fuck out of. These, yeah, these enemies are really cool because they release like pollen spores. On I think that's actually. Oh, that's a, uh, I yeah, got it, mushrooms. It makes more enemies. So it actually isn't that cool, because it makes more fucking enemies. Oh, did you see me just get eaten by that fucker? Oh my god, that's awesome. It, like, makes you, like, he rips your arm off and eats it. Oh, he eats your whole body, but... Yeah. Bitch. This won't be the last classic side scroller we play on my Let's Play channel. Oh yeah. Just because I suck at them, but I love these kinds of games. Yeah. Also bullet hell games too. God, I'm hor I'm even worse at those. Actually I'm I'm actually kinda good at those games. I'm good at like dodging that kind of stuff and it's like a like a vertical type of thing, but side scrolling is worse, I don't know, something about it. Yeah, my my room my old roommate used to play one all the time and I can't remember what it's called, but the story made no fucking sense. Oh, yeah, bullet hell games aren't really story-based at all. They, they do have a story, but they're really weird. I'm not even sure that this had a story so much as it had nonsensical dialogue. Oh, yeah. It's like, something, one, like, one of the lines was something along the lines of, I will cryogenically freeze you with English beef. English beef. <laughs> like, what? Got an achievement earlier too. Yes, five hundred thousand points scored in one game. Thank you, game. And of course, they're Japanese guys, and of course, they blow themselves up before they die. And of course, they have a katana. Oh, well, hey, we're also coming up on a very stereotypical Middle Eastern guy. So yeah. Well, I guess this was made by the Japanese, so they're making fun of themselves. So it's kind of funny. 
Oh yeah, but they're also making fun of the Middle East right here. Look at this guy. Look how Middle East he is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's cut it out before we get into straight up racist territory. Japanese are being racist. There are parts of Japan where racism is pretty strong, actually. Yeah, yeah. Like, really conservative Japanese, like, traditional stuff, and... Like, a lot of them just... Th there's parts of it where they hate foreigners. In general. Yeah. <laughs> it's, kinda, it's kinda funny when you think about it. Oh, we're fat as hell. How the hell did that happen? Hey, they, I guess we ate too much. Oh yeah, like, speaking of Japanese and being, like, xenophobes and hating other, like, foreign people, now we're making fun of Americans, apparently. We are no longer fat. Oh my god, there's so many fucking things going on on one screen. Oh my god, you son of a bitch. That's, if they come Kamikaze into us, I swear to god. They, they would. Oh, shit. Well, that would be an ultimate case of Japan making fun of itself, yeah. wouldn't it? I've seen an anime, like, there's a... Uh, there's a part of an anime where they make fun of the um, Unit 732 or 731. You know what that is? No, I do not. It's the ja the Japanese, like... See, the secret Japanese like program where they experimented on people and cut people open when they're still alive and dissected pregnant women when they're still alive and experimented with bio weapons and stuff and like it's a really fucked up thing and they, they, they make fun of that in the anime sometimes. That just uh <laughs> make that fun guy, of their ass. That guy just threw a bomb from his dick. I swear to god. He opened up his shorts and a bomb came out. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Dick bombs. Oh, there's a laser power up. No! Get it! No! Son of a bitch! There was a, uh, I don't remember what it was, but I saw Spoonie and, um, Bennett the Sage reviewed an anime. I like Evangelion. I don't care what he says. What? I, li I like Evangelion. I don't care what Sage says. There was, let's see, what was it? Um, I don't remember what it was called, but a guy pulled, um, son of a bitch. A guy had grenades attached to his crotch. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you know what's kind of funny? I watched, um, I watched a video the other night. Or it was like a top 10 um, anime movies to watch or whatever. And this guy's favorite movie of all time was the end of Evangelion. Like, his favorite movie of all time was the end of Evangelion. It's kind of funny, because then, like, the day before I watched Sage, like, ream the shit out of it. It's kind of funny how it works yeah. out. <laughs> Sage ripped it apart. He hates it. God damn it, Shinji. Stop jerking off the comatose bitches. Yeah, that, that's fucking disgusting, <laughs> I'm the not gonna scene. lie. In the opening scene, that's so funny. And it's they're like horrible 14. is what it is. They're like 14 years old. <laughs> One part of the but movie. But I've tried where... watching Evangelion, and he just annoys the piss out of me. Oh, even even in the fucking reboot movies, he's like that too. Like, it's just like, like obviously it's like just a reimagining type of thing of the series, and... Of course, when he first gets there, he's like, his dad's like, oh yeah, you want to get in this and fight the angels, and he's like, no, I don't want to do it, I don't want to think about this. <laughs> Son, like, suck it up, <laughs> because the world's going to die if you don't. But I don't you want to. You selfish piece of shit. You don't know what it's like, though. You don't know me. I listen to a Walkman all the time. The same freaking cassette tape all the time. Oh, I got an achievement for rescuing prisoners. 100 prisoners, apparently. Which, I barely <laughs> rescued any of this entire game, like, at the end results screen. Yeah. Cause we That's because we keep time. dying. <laughs> at least we get, we get to keep our points, at least. Which, I almost got that achievement for getting a million in co-op. Because we're, well, we're, we're both going to get that, actually. You're almost at the one where you get 500,000. 
I know you don't like achievements, so so it doesn't matter. I don't. I don't care about achievements. Like, <laughs> I I just want my games to be fun. Like the, yeah, like the first time I ever had an experience with achievements was with Condemned on PC when it first came out. I was like, what oh. the fuck? This is awesome because they're like. There were in-game achievements that had, like, you unlock concept art and movies and stuff, and behind-the-scenes stuff when you got achievements, which is cool. Which, more games should do that, really. Like, why the hell? What the fuck are these? Ghost? Yeah, Dragon? Whales? Like Raiders of the Lost Ark bullshit. The end of Raiders. Well, if, if this is Raiders of the Lost Ark bullshit, we'll be able to see some guy's face melt. Oh, God, I love that scene. I love that fucking scene so much. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to rewind that fucking VHS and watch those people die over and over again when I was a kid, because it was so fun to watch, I don't know. Because those effects are really cool. Like, the whole face melting is really cool, and the one Nazi guy got his face sucked in. Yeah. Have you ever seen, uh, did you ever get the face melter guitar no. solo in, uh, um... Uh, Brutal Legend? No, I don't think so. It's a it's a guitar solo that melts faces. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Literally, like, but like he plays it, and then you can just like watch the enemies around you; their face melts off. It's great. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and he just like slides. He's like face melter. It's, it's awesome. awesome. Decapitation. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Metal Slug. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye.